In this lecture, I am going to discuss what are statically determinate and indeterminate structures and how to identify if a structure is statically determinate or indeterminate which I will illustrate with the help of few examples. When the equations of static equilibrium are sufficient enough to analyze the loads and reactions of a structure, the structure is categorized as a statically determinate structure. In simple words, for a determinate structure, the number of unknowns or reactions is equal to the number of equilibrium conditions. For example, cantilever beams, simply supported beams with one end hinged and another end on roller support. If we talk about cantilever beams, it has two ends that is fixed end and free end. The fixed end develops three types of reactions that is vertical reaction, horizontal reaction and moment reaction. The number of unknowns for cantilever beams will be equal to 3 that is support reaction Rx, Ry and moment M. Number of equilibrium conditions is also equal to 3. So the number of unknowns for cantilever beam will be equal to number of equilibrium conditions which is 3. Hence cantilever beam is a determinate beam. If we talk about simply supported beam with one end hinged and another on roller support, it has three number of unknowns, two for hinge support and one for roller support. For hinge support, it will have two reactions that is Rx and Ry. And for roller support, it will have only one reaction that is Ry. The number of equilibrium conditions is three. So the number of unknowns for simply supported beam will be equal to number of equilibrium conditions that is three. Hence, simply supported beam is a determinate beam. On the other hand, if the equations of the static equilibrium do not suffice the analysis of a structure, the structure would be categorized as a statically indeterminate structure. In simple words, if the number of unknowns in a structure exceeds the number of equilibrium conditions, the structure is categorized as an indeterminate structure. Examples of statically indeterminate structures include fixed beams, continuous beams and proper cantilevers. If we talk about fixed beams, it will have six number of unknowns. For left hand support, it will have three reactions that is Rx, Ry and M. For right hand support, it will have also three reactions that is Rx, Ry and M. Hence the total will be six. And the number of equilibrium conditions is three. So number of unknowns for fixed beams will be greater than the number of equilibrium conditions. Hence fixed beam is an indeterminate beam. Now let's see whether a proper cantilever is a determinate or indeterminate structure. The number of unknowns for proper cantilever will be equal to 4. For left hand support it will have 3 reactions that is Rx, Ry and M. And for right hand support it will have only one reaction that is Ry. The number of equilibrium conditions is 3. So the number of unknowns will be greater than the number of equilibrium conditions. Hence, proper cantilever is also an indeterminate beam. Now, let's take an example of a continuous beam and let's see if it's a determinate or indeterminate structure. We have a continuous beam having three support reactions other than a fixed end. The number of unknowns for this beam will be equal to support reactions at fixed end which is 3 plus this reaction plus this reaction plus this reaction and the total will be 6 which clearly indicates that the number of unknowns for this beam is greater than the number of equilibrium conditions. Hence continuous beam is also an indeterminate beam. In case we need to analyze the indeterminate structures, apart from using equations of equilibrium, one has to determine the various deformations and make use of compatibility conditions. Indeterminate structures are also termed as redundant structures. So this was all about this lecture. If you like my content, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future. Thank you.